Now let's talk about how following and unfollowing different users is going to fit into our app. So when we follow a different user, we want to get all of their users' posts to be displayed on our timeline. We haven't created that just yet, but the final version is going to look something like this. So we're going to have this big scrollable list of the posts of the users that our current user is following. We're likely going to, going to sort them by timestamp and descending order, meaning that the most recently created posts are up at the top of our timeline, but you could also sort it by something like the like count, how popular a given post is. But regardless, our timeline is going to consist of all of our users' posts that we're following as well as our own posts. But how is this going to be possible? How are we going to create our timeline? So heading to our Firestore database, we're going to have a timeline collection. Each user is going to have their own timeline, their own collection of posts that are on that page that are linked to that user by their user ID, as usual. All of the posts on their timeline will be located within a collection called Timeline Posts. And each of these posts are going to have the same exact fields as any posts that we have created up until this point. So as you're already familiar with description, likes, location, media, URL. So how is this going to be possible? How are we going to, when we follow a user, bring over their posts and add them to our timeline? And similarly, when we unfollow a user, we'd like to remove all of their posts from our timeline. So first of all, let's talk about the first part. How are we going to get a user's past posts and put them in the timeline? Well, to do that, we're going to add the ability to listen on a given collection. Namely, we want to listen on the followers collection so that when we follow a user, we make a request to say, hey, go get all the posts of the user that we're now following by their ID. So it's pretty simple based on how we've oriented our database at this point. Get all their posts based on their ID and put them in our timeline. And they're basically going to be copied over to our timeline, again, based on the user's ID, when a new follower is added. Now, when they're removed, when we unfollow a user, we want to get rid of all of those posts. So again, we'll be listening on followers. If any follower is removed, we'll go to the following user's timeline and get rid of the posts associated with that user. So that's good and pretty straightforward. It's familiar with what we're used to, considering that when we follow somebody in any social media application, we want to see what they've created. We want to see all their posts, their media, whatever. And when we unfollow someone, we immediately want that removed. So that takes care of the past feed, the past posts that a user may have created. But what about future ones? How are we going to keep those in sync with our timeline? So we've been listening on the followers collection, and we'll also see how to listen on the post collection. So for a given post, if a change is made to it, say it's been liked or a comment has been added, we're going to find all of the users that are following the owner ID of that post and then update their timeline with those changes. And the same applies to a post being deleted. If a post is deleted, we'll find the timeline of all of the users following the post creator, delete that post for their timeline, as well as for creating a post. So how is all of this going to be possible? How can we listen on collections in our database? We're going to do so with the help of a special tool called a Cloud Firestore trigger. There's a number of Cloud Firestore triggers that enable us to hook in to different parts of the lifecycle of a given Firestore document. So if we look at the Firebase docs, we see that we have four different event types. The ones we're going to be using are on create, on update, and on delete. When a new document is created, for example, when a post is created or when a follower is created on update, say when a post has been liked or a comment has been made, and on delete, say when a post has been removed or a follower has been removed. We're going to listen for all of these events on those collections I mentioned, followers and posts. And this is where our Firebase functions comes into play. We're going to create separate Firebase functions that will be executed for these different life cycles. And we're going to, within these functions, get the data that we need when a document's been changed, and using that data, update all of the relevant users' timelines. And as a result, we're going to have a very 
practical, very featureful timeline where it doesn't matter whether we're making an update or deleting a post from our timeline or from our profile, the data is going to be updated accordingly and everything is going to be kept in sync. So let's get started making this. And to do so, we'll head to our terminal in Visual Studio Code. And using the Firebase tools that we installed globally at the beginning, we're going to initialize Firebase functions in our app by first running the command Firebase login. So we'll need to log in via the browser and authenticate the Firebase tool. And once you've logged in, we can run Firebase init functions. And from the CLI, we'll want to select our Firebase project. We're going to be writing our cloud functions with JavaScript. And we can use ESLint to catch bugs. I'm personally not going to, so I'll select N. And as a result of running this, we're going to see within our Explorer that we have a new folder called functions created for us, where our functions are going to run out of index.js and our dependencies are listed in package.json. We're going to be asked if we want to install dependencies and we will select Y for yes. So at the end, you should see Firebase initialization complete. And to start writing our functions, we can head to index.js. We'll take care of that in the next video. But for now, we have a good broad overview of how following and unfollowing users are going to help create our timeline, as well as how we're going to use Cloud Firestore triggers with our Firebase functions in order to keep data in sync across our app.